So today we're going to talk about factoring perfect square trinomials. So a perfect square trinomial will be written in this form. a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. And if a trinomial comes in this form, whenever you go to factor it, all you have to do is a plus or minus b squared. Now this plus or minus in the parentheses depends on whether this is a plus 2ab or a minus 2ab. So for this example, x squared minus 14x plus 49, we have to make sure that x is a perfect square, which it is. 49 is a perfect square, which is 7 squared and that this can be written as 2a, which is 1, b, which is 7, well 2 times 7 is 14. So that means when we write our perfect square, we're going to take a, which is the square root of x, and then plus or minus, but since this is a negative 14x, it's going to be minus and then b, which is 7 squared. So when we go to factor it this way, we have to make sure that it fits that formula. And if it does, you're always going to have a single quantity squared. So is this a perfect square? Well, the square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of x is x. One, The square root of 1 is 1, and is this equal to, is negative 14 x equal to 2a, which is 7, 7x, and b, which is 1. Well, negative 14x is equal to 14, 14x. So that means it is a perfect square trinomial. So when we go to factor it, we take a, which we already found was 7x, at plus or minus, but since this is a negative 14, it's going to be minus, and then b, the square root of b, which is 1 squared. And if you want to check this, remember that when we have a quantity squared, we have to FOIL it out. 49x squared minus 7x minus 7x plus 1. And that is the same thing as up here. So we're going to do one more example with factoring perfect square trinomials. They're pretty easy because all you have to do is recognize them and remember the little formula that tells you how to factor. So we have to make sure that this is a perfect square and this is a perfect square. So the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 36 is 6, and now we have to say, is this equal to 2a times b? 60x is equal. 2 times 5x is 10x times 6 is 60x. So yes, that does work. So now we take a, which is 5x, plus or minus, but since this is a positive 60 in the middle, it's going to be plus the square root of b squared, which is 6 squared. So like I said, that's all we're doing with perfect squared trinomials. Make sure you come back and watch the next lesson where we're going to learn how to factor normal trinomials that don't follow a special rule.